How much experience do you have? Uh, well, um, I don't have any, but this is uh, How many haircuts have you done before me? I mean, it looks like I've done a few. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. That's good. We made it to Bucky's here in Texas. We're gonna go inside to take a look at this humongous and big gas station and convenience store. That's it, All right? Happiness is spelled Bucky. What do you want to get this time? Oh, well, that's good. Brisket for breakfast. Yes, because I saw this. <laughs> that's right. I think they only have sandwiches. I don't know if you can get a or not. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor of briskets? There's like brisket. Which one did you get? It's just brisket. Look at this happy camper. Oh, that's appropriate right for our camper van. No. <laughs> How cute. We got hoodies, pajamas, everything you need, really. Even glasses and coffee mugs, hats, slippers, and windshield visors. What kind of coffee are you gonna get today? Uh, I'm gonna get some sweet tea. Oh, great. Yeah, because every sweet tea tastes different, right? They do, Jason. <laughs> you, don't, you don't believe me, but they do. <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, some breakfast has good sweet tea. Yeah, they do. It's a lot of coffees. They have all the popcorns here and the peanuts, all the olives here. Okay. And then the ices are here. They got four machines of ices. Everything is in large amounts. We're gonna go check out now. We're finished shopping here. Here's the rack of hats. I'm gonna call up my parents. Okay. Hi, Jason. Hi, Mom. We're only about an hour away from Dallas and, and we only have two days left. Hey, um, I was thinking before I finish this trip, should I ask Emily to cut my hair? Yeah. Okay, I'll see what she says. Yeah, you have to buy scissors. Okay, I'll go to the store and buy some scissors. But you know, I asked her if she's willing to do it because, you know, it's not so easy. So. <laughs> oh, okay. And if it doesn't turn up, Wait till it grows out. Okay, if it doesn't turn out good, then that can just shave it off. Well, maybe I'll just give it a shot to see how it works, okay? Your hair grows back, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want to do. I'll ask her later on today. Okay, bye. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Hey man, how you doing? Hey Hunter, I finally stopped at a church. They have a wide open parking lot, so I got a reception here. We only got two days left in our trip. Uh, today and tomorrow, I'm gonna return the RV. And I was wondering, what do you think if I uh, asked Emily to cut my hair? That's a good idea. Yeah, I was thinking, cause you know, we have the RV, so it's kind of like our home, so she could give me a haircut before we part ways. I really needed a chair, so I found this piece of equipment to make my chair. You guys, I'm freaking out because Jason wants me to cut his hair. And I don't know how to cut hair, but he hasn't had a haircut in like forever because of the quarantine thing. And um, I guess I'm gonna try to cut his hair. I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna feel so bad. We have to go like meet my family for the first time and I don't wanna bring him with me. They're like, what's wrong with your friend? And I'm like, oh, I cut his hair. Like, I just, I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to cut your hair? This is a disclaimer. Sure, go ahead. I'm gonna ruin this. You never know. It could be okay. a success. You might have this feel that you never knew. I'm gonna do great. You wanna sit here? I'm gonna set up the chair, okay? Okay, I didn't know we had a chair. Okay, I guess we're doing this outside. And I don't have normal scissors either. He got like craft store scissors, and I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, we'll see. Uh, welcome to Emily's barber shop. Have a seat, Jason. Okay, thanks. Oh gosh. I don't know if this is gonna be good. Yeah, am I too high? No, no, just a hair. We're just gonna do a dry cut today. Let's just uh, start right at the bangs. Oh, oh, that looks good. This is looking good, Jason. Uh oh. Um, okay. Well, at least I can see again. Yeah. Yeah, 
yeah, you know, look on the bright side. At least you can see again. Oh man. Uh oh. It kind of looks like a bowl cut. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna part it. No, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> uh oh. Make sure I don't cut your ear. I'm gonna make it look better. Don't worry. If you need water, I can get you water. No, it's it's fine. I mean, this is going great. What are you doing now? Just layering. This is how you layer, you guys. How much experience do you have? Uh, well, um, I don't have any, but this is... Uh, how many haircuts have you done before me? I mean, it looks like I've done a few. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. That's good. I'll just look in a mirror. Uh, for I'm the actually backside. trying to like make this not Yeah, you bad. actually try. Yeah, Others I'm like don't. actually trying. Okay, you're a really patient client. Yeah. Am I your first client for a haircut? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's always a first. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, no, Jason. What happened? You nothing, made a mistake? Nothing. Your ear is still on. Don't worry. Oh. You know what? Honestly, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> you guys can be the judge. I might be your first customer for many years to come. Yeah. If you do a good job this time, I'll come back next year. Yeah, exactly. At least we got a shower in, in my RV to wash off. Yeah. This honestly, I feel like it... <laughs> Not the front the part. Front. The front part's the most important part. I'm sorry, I know. Wait, wait. I'm surprised you can do it without any water. Oh, I no, always use water. To? You've cut your own hair? Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Uh oh, oops. I shouldn't have done that. Oops. Yeah, they do this like weird technique where they like slice in, into the hair or something. Is it it's, good? Honestly, it's not that bad, Jason. Okay, I was getting worried. All right, I'm more relieved now. All right, I'll go look in the mirror now. All right, are we finished now? Yeah. All right. Now I gotta brush it out. Is that you brushing it out? Honestly, I did a good job. <laughs> Jason, look at it. It looks good. Look at that. You guys, I did a good job. Yeah, you did a pretty good job. It's just the front part that's kind of messed up, but well, the other part's okay. Except for like that part. Right? That, Final that was, product. It, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, thanks for the haircut. <laughs> I think I'm going to crack a beer after that haircut. I mean a Perrier. Emily did a good job, so cheers to her. This Perrier comes all the way from France. It's pineapple and mango flavor. We're gonna continue on our way to a health food store now. It's about uh, one hour away from here in Dallas, Texas. The weather's good. Today's our last full day because tomorrow we have to leave and return the RV at about 8 to 11 a.m. in the morning. And then our flights are at 3 and 4 p.m. So we're enjoying our last day of our RV trip, which is day seven. Tomorrow will be day eight. We do that. The thing about retired RV life is encaptured in this statement. Enjoy life. All right, we're back on the road. I'm gonna head to the interstate. Thanks for the haircut, Emily. You're welcome. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, right guys? It looks good. I'm good for another month or two. I think it looks okay. Yeah. We decided to go to Kroger. And Jason, what happened? <laughs> this is not newsworthy for the internet. <laughs> it's an embarrassing story. We ran out of gas, you guys. <laughs> we have money for gas. It's not that we don't. So Jason didn't fill up the tank. He instead, Jason decided to go to Kroger and buy some vegan ice cream and sit and eat it. So I tried to turn on the generator and the generator just shut off. So I think we're out of gas. Here's the moment of truth to see if we have fuel. Thank the Lord, go. Go to the gas station now, go. <laughs> sit in your seat. <laughs> Jason, just go! <laughs> Need gas! Oh, please, Lord, don't let us break down on the way to the gas station. Oh, God, that was so scary. We're at 99.1 miles. We have nine tenths of a mile to get the gas. Oh, my God. We have one tenth of a mile? Now it's eight tenths. Oh, God, Jason. There's a gas station right there. 66, you want to go that one? This one's just down the block. Okay, okay. Uh, you want to keep a clean record, huh? Yeah, I've never had this problem. I've never ran out of gas, ever. Never <laughs> has this ever happened. I could be like almost broke and starving in college, but I never ran out of gas. 
This is like the homeless issue. It's like it, they don't become homeless because they don't have the money. They become homeless just from being careless <laughs> about their life. <laughs> it's the same with the car. You don't run out of gas because you don't have the money. You just run out because you're careless. <laughs> Yeah, so as long as you plan ahead, you should be good to yes. go. Yeah. No. You can't push these things. No, you can't. How many pounds is it? 11,300, Jason. We weighed it, remember? That's too much for me. Yeah, earlier, you guys, is this taping? Yeah. Yeah. Earlier, Jason goes, maybe you can push it, Emily, and I'll sit at the front driver's seat and try to, you know, rear it up. And you took a break there a little bit, and you were not here to navigate me. This is not my fault, but the light comes on and we pass gas stations and we stop and we get gas at the gas station. And that's how it works. Um, we wanted to have some drama in our video. This is... <laughs> Are you sweating yet? I've been sweating since I tried to turn the generator on to get some cool air. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, 114 too. Good gas prices. <sighs> that's a big sigh of relief. Yeah, thank the Lord. It. Come on. <laughs> no, I don't know. This is not a high five moment, Jason. <laughs> what if we had to buy a gas can and go walking for like miles to go get gas just to come back to fill it up? Yeah, that's more extreme. The extreme isn't the word. Nothing happened at the end. <laughs> What do we do every day? And all we do is go into grocery stores. Why? They're the only places that are open. <laughs> That's what we've been doing the entire time. Wow. Well, there's a new one, Winco Foods. I know, we go to different ones. I mean, it's fun. It's, it's a variety. It's just, you know. That's our hobby. Yeah, grocery. that's it. <laughs> grocery stores. And I've been buying way too much food. I have too. Winco Foods. It's an employee-owned grocery store. We do not accept credit cards. This place only accepts cash, check, or debit card. Do you have a debit card? Um, no. <laughs> Do you have cash? No. How are we going to buy stuff here? Uh, I can buy what I want to buy. You can buy your own stuff for yourself. Okay. That kind of looks like uh, Costco with these big shelves. No sampling? No, of course not. Got the back section over here. And that pretty much got my food. I'm gonna get some sushi and avocado dip. And I'm ready to go now. There's a cereal aisle, frozen food aisle. And drinks. Oh, I lost you. There you are. Oh, you found ice cream. That's good. Yeah, I did. Sushi? You're gonna get We're gonna go eat. This is for tomorrow. I made it to Vividian housing complex. You can walk around this lake or jog it. It's a nice place. You can also get sail kayaks or paddle boats and go around it. The weather is incredibly nice. Got a slight breeze. The housing development was only developed two years ago in 2018. 2018, they started selling these houses and they're really nice, well designed. So this is it, Dallas, Texas, near Arlington. Hi, how are you? I'm so sorry you were late. Um, no, you're perfect. Hi, Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Emily Hi. Emily of course. Yes. Hi. I'm Jason. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I know you're not a meat eater, so I try to keep all the meat separated from all the other stuff. And I bought a vegan dressing for the pasta. So nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you Thank too. Thank you so much for coming by. We were really impressed that you uh, invited us over. This family wouldn't let us over. They were like, we are social distancing and you cannot come over right now. <laughs> wow. I was they like, must, I was like well, we're rule breakers. They must